morning welcome to day eight today as you can see we're at ikea so i've wanted to come here since the last time i came and it's all because of their caramel corn that for some reason they don't sell in toronto we walked through the whole store just to come here <laughs> okay so we got a tomato and cheese pocket and caramel corn so this is kind of like a pizza pocket it's pretty good but not that special i guess So we're just eating as we shop around, window shop around, and I don't know if you remember from my previous vlogs in Hong Kong, this whole mall is full of furniture. This is really cool, an expensive programmable toilet with different flush settings. It's the future of all toilets. So since we shared our IKEA breakfast, we can have part two of breakfast. So it's piping hot pineapple bun. Mm -hmm. yeah, this so we're at Yata doing some last minute souvenir shopping. We're just looking at small food snack items that we can shove in like, the corners of our suitcases to bring back. But the tricky thing is that you can almost find pretty much everything in Toronto, so it's hard to look for something that's just unique here. These are shredded pork chips I had the last time I was here, and they are awesome. Too bad they're going to get squished in the luggage, but you can't find them in Toronto, or at least I haven't seen them there before. They always have so many cute things here that just make me want to be like 10 years old again so that I can enjoy all this stuff. But I take a lot of joy in looking at it as an adult. Too much joy, but that's okay. I figure anything that makes me happy, that's not illegal, doesn't hurt anyone. So we're making good use of time, we're just on the hotel shuttle going to another mall in a different part of the city. So we're back here at Olympian City. We're just gonna shop around, trying to make some dinner plans and doing more last minute shopping, looking for food. So the food court or food republic is tucked away in a different corner and it's pretty elaborate. So that's a tower of butter for cream puffs. So we ended up going back to McDonald's <laughs> and I got an iced coffee and a lobster sandwich, lobster salad sandwich. So I figured the price is not bad, it's a combo and you can't find this exact same thing in Canada, so it's McDonald's it is again. And this is kind of like deja vu. We're back at Tim Ho Wan for our second round because it was so good the first time. So I don't feel too much um, eating out with relatives, having dinner since it's our last night here. So we're just heading back home, taking a stroll instead of just hopping on the MTR. One thing I really like and don't miss is the very vibrant nightlife here. So it's not really a karaoke party nightlife per se, but it's nighttime now after dinner and there's still a lot of people on the streets, it's still full of energy, and I'm really gonna miss this when I get back to Toronto. Because even going out downtown at night in Toronto it's, it feels a little bit more dangerous. And then up in the suburbs where my family lives, basically nightlife is the raccoons coming out. So I really like this energy and this buzz here. And here are some pictures that I took just, I guess, sort of to capture the energy and the movement of the night. So we're at the airport just waiting for our plane and there's an airplane museum. So it's a mini airplane museum. They do allow pictures here, so I feel free to film. And I guess these are just all the models of airplanes that they use. Or like a timeline of airplane models. And then the timeline, sort of, of um, flight attendant outfits. It's very nostalgic. Up to a certain point. <laughs> and yes, we're on the flight home, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching and for coming along with me on my very fun but kind of short trip. And uh, you feel free to comment below, and I'll see you next time, or see you soon in another video. Bye!